Well, hello, I'm Brian and we are going to see how to create a custom loss or keras. The motivation for this is that let's say you want to create an architecture similar to this one where you have multiple outputs and this output is connected to the target or the label that you want to to match. In for this example we have one, two, three. In these three cases you have to uh, define different outputs or connections to the your final target. In Keras the default way you create models is by using the sequential uh, model, a sequential model. So from my point of view, it's not possible for doing this. So you have to use the functional API. Uh, we are going to try to do this following architecture in this tutorial. It's basically only three hidden units and layers. Sorry, three hidden layers, an input, an output, and this is how you are going to see the code look like because it's going to be connected to the target but it's more likely to be seen like this uh, a connection from the middle hidden layer to the output so here you are going to have a custom loss uh, related to the final layer and the previous layer so in general you have to do it. We achieve this goal by us using the functional API and by saving and loading the architecture and the weight separately. We, if we use just yes, model that save, we are going to uh, have a lot of issues by doing so. So let us get started with this. Uh, here we only care about. Uh, most of these three of two lines from here are not useful at all, like pandas or the sequential model or keras. In this second section, we are defining a normal distribution that is going to have 100 samples, 10 columns, so like 10 features. The output is going to have only one feature, and the output is going to be for this example just an addition of the second and the fifth column. In this line we are changing or reshaping the target um, from a shape of 100 and nothing to 101 because normally when you do this you create a, a flattened array. So here is the most important section. You define two inputs in the in the functional API, one for the X, one for your target. We are going to make a regression problem here. And later you connect the layers by adding the previous layer to the uh, right of the layer that you are creating. In this case, L1, 2, and 3N represent the number of hidden units for each layer. Uh, here we are making that the output is going to be X, then we add our batch normalization layer, then we have this second layer, and here I uh, I actually can change this, yes, but I'm going to name this L2 instead of just X to make the distinction of our output. So, so far from this point everything is normal. What we're doing in the second section is that from this hidden unit we are creating the output uh, that is going to be matched with our target. To do so we create a dense layer that is going to have the shape of the number of features of our target, but this case is just one. And the activation is going to be linear. And we're connecting this to the to this previous layer. The next layer is not connected to L2O, 
because this one we are going to use it for other purposes but instead it's connected to only L2 our previous previous layer this one over here and from that point on is like yes the normal way the normal flow of creating an, an architecture and the final layer is going to be called FLO just for making the distinction and our custom loss is going to be composed by these three lines that is going to be represented by the absolute difference between our uh, layer 2 output the difference with the target and the final layer with the target and at the end we are not taking the mean we are making an addition of the these differences we you could have used the mean but in this case i'm taking the sum the, the addition of every element so finally we specify our the inputs here for the model and the outputs this part is very important because when you're making a testing uh, or where you're going to make uh, the inference or prediction uh, the model is going to throw what you specify in outputs so if you want just to see the final step of the previous architecture that is uh, represented by just the final uh, the final layer that is going to be this triangle over here then this is fine but if you wa want for some reason to get the output from this uh, middle la hidden layer you should specify a list here when you have LFLO plus L2O in a list so later you add uh, explicitly the loss uh, you get an optimizer and you compile it this is pretty standard we saw the previous part in this section we are just making the uh, division of the training set and validation set and we specify by 25 what can 1000 iterations and evaluation for the validation set for 100 each 100 iterations for the training set uh, each 200 this is to see if actually our network is learning something and in this process take a look on this we specify the train on batch uh, we are making a sampling to make the train on batch and we are specifying the x and the, our target in an in a list and after that we are specifying a non normally if you don't are not tr you're working with multiple inputs your your the train on batch is expecting that the x is going to be like your input features and the second argument is going to be your target so in this case we are not working with the target and everything is in the inputs so uh, let's train it and it's working this is the most important thing we are not expecting to see a pretty good result here so this is the second most important part how to save and load if this is this the normal way to save a model if we are saving it and we are trying to load here this model you see it's the same name and when when we are loading this we get a mistake an error not, not a mistake an error because the custom loss is not saved when you use the function uh, model that site the proper way is that you're going to save the architecture and the weight separately so with this function you are getting the architecture in this shape a JSON shape uh, here we, we are writing into a file this string and here we are saving only the weights now let's say that we have all these files and we have want to load the model so we are reading just the string the json string for the model and with this function we are creating the model from the string 
and the second one is going to load the weights into the architecture and that's it with this we are done uh, so basically you were able to create this architecture and saving and restoring and by so you are going to be able to create your own custom architectures so if you like this video you have any doubts please comment in the in the comment section or send me a message to any of my social media accounts whether you want just some kind of small help or you want to hire me for some freelance services projects that you have in mind so thank you